When one considers that Mr. Sherlock Holmes was in active practice for twenty-three years, and that during seventeen of these, I was allowed to cooperate with him and to keep notes of his doings. It will be clear that I have a mass of material at my command. The problem has always been not to find, but to choose. There is a long row of yearbooks which fill a shelf, and there are the dispatch cases filled with documents. A perfect quarry for the student, not only of crime. But of the social and official scandals of the late Victorian era. Concerning these latter, I may say that the writers of agonized letters, who beg that the honor of their families or the reputation of famous forebears may not be touched, 